the video, welcome. And for those of you who are listening to the podcast, welcome back. And uh, our guest, uh, a fellow who, by my recollection, I last spoke to in Portland in 1990, uh, is uh, from LA Guns, Kelly Nichols. How are you? How's that possible? Yeah. Hey, man, how's it going? Good, good, good. How's, how's your day going, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's nice and chilly here on the East Coast, so we're doing all right. Now, um, I was, uh, you, you, the new album, Renegades, is out um, next month, and I was just wondering, do we have Mark Alexander Erba to 100% thank for this music? Uh, or would you, he's the CEO of Golden Robot, your new record company, or would you have recorded something anyway? Yeah. Um, no, we definitely have to, him to thank for it. I mean, we have a small part in the, small part in it, but yeah, he, uh, he came to us after the uh, M3 show we did uh, last year. Uh, it's a big festival here in uh, Maryland. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, he's a fan, he's, a, he's into the music, he knew who we were, um, and uh, he's great. So we have a really good relationship. So yeah, offered us a deal and we were going to, uh, we weren't really gonna do it right away. We we're gonna try to do it this year, 2020, but uh, they wanted it done. So luckily we, we did it and we have it or else we probably wouldn't have been, been able to ha uh, do it or have it at this point. That's awesome. And, I, and I, I've read that you sort of um, pre-sold like, you know, the first pressing, the second pressing, you're, you're onto, the, onto the third pressing. In one interview, he said it'll be the biggest selling LA Guns album of the last 20 years. So uh, is that a bit of sort of exaggeration on the part of the proud boss or is it, a, is it an actual fact? <laughs> I don't know, man. He loves it. So, I mean, I, I'm hoping that, you know, his experience and... Uh, it's you know something that we can kind of lean on, but yeah, it seems to be uh, it seems to be some interest out there, and hopefully, uh, you know, we'll get to you know some people to hear it. Would be nice. <laughs> what what's it like doing all this again, Kelly? Like I think you said you didn't write a song for twenty five years. Um, right. <laughs> how does it feel? It's like riding a bike, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, I felt uh, it was a good time to get back into it with all this happening and stuff. Um, so, you know, it was fun. I mean, I had a great time the first time around and, you know, always enjoyed the process and got to meet a lot of cool people through the years. So I took a definitely a 25 year break <laughs> and ended up back in here. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's great to be able to have a second chance to uh, do it all again. So I'm really excited for it. We had bunch of tour dates for this year lined up so we were looking forward to that but um, hopefully next year. So um, you've been a little bit evasive in some questions about where you were for 25 years I mean we can find some of it on the internet you know um, you know you had a kid and uh, you know you were involved in a reality show um, but um, can you fill in the gaps for us? <laughs> yeah I mean I'm, you know I did I raised a, I raised a couple of girls and had um, uh, you know, just had to figure out other things to do. So I've, I've done all kinds of things, really. I've, I've taught some music. I've worked on a shark cage diving boat for a few years. I've done construction. I've worked in a garage. Um, I've done all kinds of stuff just to, you know, stay busy and... Uh, so, yeah, so... Yeah. <laughs> what, what, Still evasive. <laughs> but what confused me was that I read, and, and this was actually caused a little bit by this show was that um, um, uh, when, when, you know, Phil Lewis said we invited him back and he didn't want to come back and you responded by saying, oh, um, no, um, we weren't invited. And then he said he wouldn't cope with it with his privileged lifestyle. Did you see that quote from Phil Lewis? He said he wouldn't, he wouldn't cope last for five minutes with his privileged lifestyle. And I just had that in my head, the yeah. millionaire, you know, like, you know, Richie Rich or something. But do you know what he meant by that? or? <laughs> Um, you know, that was, uh, that was, uh, that was rude. Um, I, I have uh, a daughter who's, who acts and stuff and she does pretty well, but, uh, you know, that doesn't really reflect on my, uh, life that much, you know? So, um, yeah, well actually, you know, he didn't, they never asked us to come back. So when Phil and, uh, Tracy started their reunion, you know, um, I, I asked if I should, if I could come back or if, you know, I thought it would be a good idea if I came back. Um, my youngest daughter went to, was going to college, so I figured I had some time now. And, uh, you know, he made it clear, no, man, <laughs> they didn't want me back. So they didn't ask Mick, and they definitely didn't ask Steve. Um, 
so you know they had a little two-man reunion so that that's kind of like the catalyst of all of this and you know for us to have I've been in the band uh, doing its kind of heyday thing and Steve always been doing it for the last, you know, 25 years or so. Um, and having legal right to half the name, um, you know, that's how we just kind of got here because they didn't want us. So we ended up here. So it's like, it's your, it's, 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 it's you, you know, you're, you're a part of something, but, but, but part of it doesn't want you in it. Mm. So what are you supposed to do? Like, are we, are the rest of us just supposed to like, you know, sit back and do nothing and just let them go and have uh have a good time uh you know it didn't really work out that way so now we're uh you know so now we're here too we're here to stay it's uh really weird to see myself in each of your glasses there um um, let's yeah. have, um kelly we'll get you were talking about and you kind of i brought it up but you brought it up but anyway so i'll ask you a um a hard-ass news question we'll move on to more esoteric matters um, what's, what, what's doing with the court case? Uh, is it solved? We, we, we were told October, October's almost over. So we've got any news? Um, I probably shouldn't really, or can't really talk about it, but there's no, uh, there's nothing really to report yet. Okay. Okay. Now, um, when you sat down to, uh, write songs, um, for, for, for the, for the upcoming album, Renegades, what, what in your mind, anyone who listens to the band over the years can come up with their own idea, but as a songwriter and someone who was part of the classic lineup, what is the essence of LA Guns? Like if you, if you had to do a list of things when you sit down to write an LA Guns song to make it sound like LA Guns, uh, what, what, what do you, what's on your list? I don't know, pretty much just always trying to write about something I know, you know, and uh, definitely wanted the record to have a, a lot of energy. So we wanted some uh, mostly upbeat songs. There's 10 songs on the record, there's two ballads, and there's one kind of like mid-tempo, but the rest are uh, slamming. And, um, you know, just wanted to keep the energy up. It's, you know, for LA Guns, it's just always about energy and, and you know, our things we know, it's just uh, a vampire-ish kind of lifestyle, uh, you know, not, no politics, no, nothing super deep. You know, it was just a rock and roll band, it was just a, you know, songs were an excuse to get out of the house, you know? <laughs> and do you listen to the other, well, do you listen to the, the music made when you're not in the band to inform what you're writing when you're back in the band? Well, this is like the, this is like the first time that I've ever really been able to like play one of our songs over and over again. Like the first three singles, Crawl, Well Old Machine, and Renegades, I can listen to them over and over again. I can leave it in my car or whatever, and I can loop it. And uh, I really enjoy listening to it. Mm -hmm. so, uh, usually, like when you're done recording it and you've heard it you know, so many times, you're already sick of it. But um, these I really can still listen to and really like. Is that because you think you were kind of, well, uh, you know, you, it was more a team effort, you know, this, this record. Is that, do you think that's a reason or do you think there's a certain quality to the music that the other songs didn't have? Um, I think it's Kurt, uh, you know, it's, I think it's the singer for that. Um, oh my God. <laughs> I think it's Kurt. Yeah, that's, that's the reason. That's the reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's and, the reason. And, and and as far as uh, lot like live, it's hard to talk about live now. But we're starting to see some dates come out now for various yeah. bands. Have you have you got dates? Are you uh, um, got plans? And, and and what will your set look like? With how many new songs will you play? All that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, we do have dates coming in and stuff. We got about a half a dozen already. Uh, we we have one starting in March with um, uh, Slaughter, and then. Uh, uh, and then we're talking about a uh, Australia, Europe thing, but you know, I don't know. Everything is just still going to be tentative to you know what's happening in the world. You know, uh, we all live in different states, so it's it's a lot of flights, it's a lot of traveling for us, and you know, Ubers and hotels and checking in, and, and uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a lot because uh, you know we all can't just get in there together and do it. So everybody's got to come from all over the country. So you know. The dates are coming in, but whether we actually get to do them or not, we still have to wait and see, you know. Let's have another song. Kelly, I just wondered, like, are you someone who, I mean, it, people have become quite obsessed with the era 
um, the LA guns, uh, you know, um, were, were very prominent and very influential. In as someone who's part of it, are you are you as wistful and nostalgic as we are? Do you, do you spend time looking at look you know looking at souvenirs of the road and looking at old old albums and videos, or do you like just straight ahead? You know, do you are you how how interested in your legacy are you? Um. You know, I'm proud of it. I'm not. I don't like to sit there and look at uh, look at us, look at myself all day, or uh, you, you know, really look at that. I feel like uh, you know, had a lot, had a lot of it already. So I don't really need to. Um, uh, you know, I'm not super nostalgic about it. I mean, I'll, I'll see a picture that I, I haven't seen or a picture I've never seen uh, on, uh, you know, internet or Facebook or something like that, which is kind of cool. So, you know, stuff I haven't seen uh, um, is interesting. Um, but, you know, no, I don't dwell on the past too much. I'm really looking forward to the future and really wanted to, um, you know, make a cool record try to be hip you know there's so many songs out today it's hard to try to be fresh and creative uh so that was like the biggest hurdle but i feel like um everything's fresh and it's got a good vibe be between the mix of the old band and the new blood the new guys kurt and uh scott so that was a lot of fun and yeah it was a great experience writing it and everything uh best best uh recording experience i've had ever had because uh actually had some say in it this time and uh you know it's cool to just be doing it still yeah 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 how when you're doing all that other stuff and during that 25 years uh, how many times like did you completely separate yourself from music like was music always part of your life or did you i know you've got this uh uh, you know, the, the Montauk um, Salvage Company, which we should give a plug to. It's a design and photography and really cool stuff like that. Did you, uh, did you completely shut yourself off from music? Uh, did you find yourself getting recognised in the street a lot? You know, what, what was that period like and, and how different is it to, to, to your sort of mind um, frame now, you know? Yeah, no, I never like, uh, I never got, you know, I, I mean, like I always had a bass and a guitar laying around the house or something. And uh, I, I've jammed with some friends through the years, you know, just, just, uh, just, uh, you know, having some fun, but to, uh, to get into a serious project again, I just wasn't interested. I, I wasn't, um, I didn't really like hang out with a lot of other musicians at the time. So I didn't really I don't know, make connections and stuff like that, you know. Um, and it's just like so much work to, you know, to to, to get back into it. Um, I just never, I just really didn't have the energy or the drive to do it. Almost, I couldn't even go into a club for a long time just because the smell and just, it just, it just takes me back that I, I just, I couldn't even... Um, uh, want to deal with any any of it you know but I enjoyed playing I like I said I had a bass around I would pick it up I play acoustic I like to jam a little bit even you know um, and then I taught some kids that were in the neighborhood and uh, they won their battle of the bands so uh, you know it's always like it's always like right there you know <laughs> yeah 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 but it's the one thing I guess a lot of people remember you for but it's but when when it's you, it's 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 only a small part of your day. You know what I mean. But but it but it yeah. resonates with all the people, all the strangers you encounter. It's what what resonates. I, I read, I read, I heard, I listened to an interview before where you could have been in garbage, but you didn't show up to the uh, to right. <laughs> so yeah, I, I wonder if like um, for guys, particularly in LA Guns, when you look at Guns and Roses and you look at their um, and some other bands, not just Tele Guns, and you look at um, their success and you look at their back catalogue and, and you look at their soap opera as well, do you look at them and go, well, they were just amazing, they were always going to be huge, or do you look at them, you know, they're, they're the representative of the scene that survives today, right? They're the biggest representative yeah. of the scene. Or do you, do, do you see luck as part of their story as well, you know, that the timing and all that sort of stuff. I mean, you were around them, you know, you used to hang out with Steven, you saw them play clubs. So when you look at them now on TV or on YouTube, do you go, they're brilliant, they deserve everything they got, or do you think, well, they were lucky as well, you know? 
Yeah, no, we used to uh, used to hang out with Duff quite a bit too, um, and uh, and 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 was becoming friends with Steve, uh, Stephen Adler, and stuff. But uh, uh, you know, I think they're uh, amazing, and they deserve everything that they got. And um, you know, they 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 really, uh, you know, I'm happy for them, of course. Um, what about what about um, LA Guns? Were there a, was there a sliding door? Most people in bands or in most walks of life they've got a sliding door moment in their mind that if we if we did that one thing that one time then we could have been more mm. successful do, do you have some stories like that you know yeah i think that's uh, i think it's like baseball you get three strikes and you're out i think that we had um with ballad jane came out and that was that was successful that did really well that we didn't follow it up with um a different single we had the song um over the edge which was in the movie point break here mm -hmm. um in, in america and that was like a big movie and we had a song in there um so we you know we're like why don't we you know do that song mm -hmm. i mean you know there's so many things that happened like bail of the chain even barely made it on the record you know so mm -hmm. like record company didn't care management didn't care half the band didn't care and it just ended up like you know I got it on there, but it's just so everything is just so close that yeah 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 you get I feel like you get three mistakes like in baseball and you're out. So you know, not following up Ballad of Jane with a better song, it just didn't make any sense. But you you kind of like you don't you, we don't have all the power, you know. So mm -hmm. you have to you have to go with their judgment too sometimes, and you know, but it it's. Um, it's, yeah. that's weird <laughs> okay so we'll finish up we'll get another song off you but i just wondered if i could uh, ask you one more question i'm trying to remember this what is in 2020 or oh, that's a bad year let's say 2021 what what's success for for you and for la guns what what does what does success mean uh you know i already feel blessed so you know for us it's just uh you know just grateful to have this project to be in uh to be in a band with some very cool people who really get it that uh, you know, it is what it is. But we we all did uh, you know work work pretty hard to get this thing going. We had seven days to record it. We had uh, two days of pre production, two days to mix it, one day to master it. So so you know, uh, all the work was done uh, in advance as much, and everybody did their homework. And when it came time to record it, everybody knew their parts, and we you know we worked on it to the last second. So you know, we're super proud of it. Um, I've done all the artwork for it. Uh, so I'm, I'm already feel happy, you know, I mean, we got a record deal without asking or begging for one. So, <laughs> we're, you know, pretty grateful. It just came out of the, the blue. So, um, you know, that we wouldn't be here probably, we wouldn't be talking about any of this if there wasn't this record done. So we're lucky that we did it before, you know, this year and uh, we had it in the can. And um, so let's play Crawl by LA Guns. <laughs> there we go.